Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. My microphone is working, my computer is working, my YouTube channel is working. I can make videos again. Welcome back to TWB. Uh, this is May the 22nd, 2020, and I have seven different uh, items to talk to you about regarding cruise ships and traveling and, oh my gosh, everything else. So welcome one and all. Thank you for all of you out there who have been uh, supporting my channel during this 10-day uh, shutdown. Really appreciate you joining me on my live updates. Uh, can't thank you enough for all your support. Those of you who are subscribing to this channel, who are giving thumbs ups to my videos and channels, thank you. Also, those of you who are joining my Facebook group page called Traveling with Bruce, spelled with two L's. Oh my gosh, 46 hundred now are in there and a lot of us hang out there between these videos and live shows come on over there just ask to join i'll let you in i administer that uh, page also instagram followers oh my gosh uh, we're about to hit 900 here uh they're coming in welcome one welcome all and thank you those of you who are supporting twb traveling with bruce by picking up your very own covid masks with traveling with bruce logos on them coffee mugs t-shirts tops and everything else head to the red bubble store the link is down below and check the stuff out let's get into it it's been a while i'm rusty what is going on right now everything the number one story i want to talk to you about is the big story that broke in the last week and that is all about cruise ship buffets are they dead or what what is going on with cruise ship buffets what's going on with buffets in your hometown how about las vegas buffets lots of questions and um, lots of speculation now the latest is this i had heard that um, royal caribbean was uh, quoted as saying about a week or 10 days ago that the traditional buffet that we're used to may be a thing of the past and that the windjammer buffet that uh, is basically on all of the uh, Royal Caribbean uh, cruise ships will uh, not exist anymore. Um, I have an update for you. Um, maybe not. Maybe not quite so dramatic. Because the talk right now with um, uh, the speculation right now for cruise lines is that it is entirely likely that when cruising re restarts, hopefully later this year, but maybe not till 2021 or 2022, but when it does begin again, the thinking is that the capacity levels will be much lower or the occupancy levels will be much lower than they used to be. Instead of going out at 100 to 110 percent capacity, the talk now is that cruise ships will go out somewhere between maybe 30 percent to 40 percent capacity, maybe 50 percent capacity. Now, those kinds of numbers mean that cruise ships with, say, 4,000 capacity or 5,000 capacity or 6,500 capacity in the case of Oasis ships, they'll only go out now with maybe 12, 1,500, 2,000 passengers. Uh, an Oasis class ship with 6,500 capacity, you have to understand there are over 22 places to eat on board a ship like that. The Windjammer buffet can handle a very high number of uh, people on a normal basis Go, going back to let's say the old days six months ago going forward um if the ship only has uh, two thousand passengers on board uh the wind jammer might find that at breakfast time between say seven in the morning and ten in the morning instead of uh, feeding upwards of three thousand people uh they may only have to feed uh eight or nine hundred people over three hours this really reduces the number of people inside the buffet area. And with some modifications and uh, adjustments, um, the buffet could be reconfigured to, quote, still be a buffet-style restaurant where you go in there, hit your, uh, put your hands under the washi-washi machine and um, uh, line up, uh, you know, in an orderly fashion with the staff coordinating the lineups where you will end up at the beginning of the buffet and staff will be behind the protected glass area to take care of you and uh, in effect they will fill your plate up for you all you're going to do is point <laughs> and so you might start with some um, some fruit and a little cereal and a little bit of yogurt and this and that you'll just point it to what you want and a lot of those um, uh, meals all those 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 uh, 
selections may well already be predispensed in specific containers that might be sealed closed and um, you'll just point at uh, the yogurt over there with the you know and then you want some peaches on the side each each item you point to is already in a container and will just be uh, put on a tray for you and the tray slides along with your crew member taking you from the beginning right to the end and at the very end when you're uh, when you're all done um, you will be assigned a table that will already have been uh, uh, designated for you space uh, social spacing already in place and um, you'll sit down and uh, slowly the rest of your party will join you one at a time with the staff members at that point who are masked and gloved uh, so that your food arrives to you completely covered and it is now your function sitting at the table to unseal every container of your your breakfast lunch or dinner and uh, enjoy your meal it could well be that kind of an experience so it's still a buffet style presentation except you do not handle the tongs you don't handle any ladles you don't uh, you don't get to smell the food uh, anymore past the sneeze guard you can't get anywhere near the food because the food is separated from you and your server by glass in the front where you are and a plexiglass sneeze guard with the crew member behind and uh, the only people who are handling the food are the chefs down below and they're gloved and masked as well it is in effect going to be a very sterile environment uh, going forward but then again we know cruise ship futures are going to be a lot different than cruise ship voyages of the past so quick update on that buffet it may not be dead after all we may find that cruise ship buffets are actually still going to be available and still utilized but with only 30 to 40 percent utilization on the ship in the first place and with social distancing seating in, in the second place and the handling of the food in the third place uh, buffets will have completely changed dramatically going forward forward we'll keep an eye on that we'll let you know all about it um, other news coming out um, carnival they announced additional job uh, cutbacks layoffs and furloughs uh, at their headquarters in Doral they are now uh, at talking that another 181 people have been laid off and 379 more furloughed that's on top of the 500 last week that were announced at least 500 some of the uh, titles the job titles now being affected are uh, getting quite up there we're talking about people like senior analysts administrators senior directors um, eight other directors three senior managers and managers senior vice president of retail and six vice presidents these are department heads these are uh, the second in command the third in command um, and their assistants we're, we're talking about a full-blown retreat from active business and so any any cruise line talking bravely about starting August the 1st um, they're they're talking the talk but I don't think they're walking the walk with these cutbacks happening across all cruise lines not just carnival um, the, the 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 cutbacks are, are well underway here's some imagery uh, from cruise mapper of what's happening in uh, the Philippines uh, I have been talking about how <clears throat> Filipino crew members are being repatriated to their country by cruise ships directly rather than being just flown in <clears throat> and you can see here from these uh, maps all of the ships that have gathered in manila harbor and and around the area of manila and you can see here by some of these photos i've issued uh just how many ships we're talking about each uh, ship that you can see uh at least 2,000, maybe 2500 crew members per ship being repatriated just to the philippines a number of ships have already left the area in the last couple of days more are arriving and so it wouldn't surprise me if as many as 60 plus thousand filipino crew members are waiting their turn to be disembarked in Manila and then put into quarantine and then be taken home there's a lot happening there this will take weeks all of uh, May <clears throat> all of June most likely even into July there will still be Filipino crew members repatriated home and you can repeat this for places like Singapore Indonesia India Pakistan uh, and other areas uh, certainly in the Asia area tons of crew being taken back <clears throat> which tells me that when cruising restarts it will be uh, very very small numbers 
with uh, a handful of ships per cruise line uh, to start with because we don't know the new normal yet. We're going to find that out later. All right. Other news, Virgin Voyages, they've extended their shutdown now till October the 16th. They were uh, <clears throat> telling the uh, cruisers of the world that uh, back in March that they wouldn't cruise until August. People thought they were crazy. Other cruise lines were saying, we're going to be back in May and June. What are they talking about? Now they're the Vo Virgin Voyages people with the Scarlet Lady cruise ship, October 16th at the earliest. And uh, this cruise line has so far been the most realistic when it comes to guesses. But even their August date was premature. But at the time they said it, no one thought so. News out of Mexico. Uh, Mexican authorities are uh, grappling with the virus like anyone else, everyone or everywhere else. The, uh, the uh, officials, <clears throat> elected officials and, and uh, you know, economic uh, experts in the Cancun area, in Cancun, Mexico, near Cozumel, that area, <clears throat> the hope was that Mexico would be open by June the 1st. Now, th this is a date that was set two months ago, uh, and they thought that June the 1st is so far down the road that by the time June 1st shows up, oh my gosh, this virus will be a, a distant memory. Unfortunately, as I am speaking to you here on uh, the 22nd of May, <clears throat> more cases are showing up in Mexico. They're actually, uh, their infection rates are increasing, not leveled off, not decreasing, and death rates are spiking. Mexico City itself is dealing with an absolute massive outbreak. It is being heavily uh, underreported. There are uh, brave reporters trying to stay on top of the story, but the statistics from the government are inconsistent and are incomplete. And it is now obvious that <clears throat> the hope of restoring at least 80,000 jobs in the Cancun area for a June 1 restart, premature thinking. Uh, officials in, in Mexico are admitting that there is no way that there will be tourists flying into Cancun, Mexico, going into those all-inclusive resorts, and there is no hope for a cruise ship coming in in June at all anywhere in Mexico. So <clears throat> look for a delay to be announced in the not-too-distant future. How far down the road will be the interesting question. We'll wait for that one. St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, interesting news uh, coming out of here. I just uncovered that... Um, uh, St. Kitts and Nevis had a total of 15 cases of the virus confirmed over the entire stretch from February to now. Um, all 15 people who were infected with the virus have recovered. There were no deaths in St. Kitts and Nevis. Uh, the entire country has been on total lockdown for uh, planes in or out, cruise ships in or out, and there is still no reopening date set. Even with that success... There is no plans for a restart for tourism into St. Kitts and Nevis at this present time. No date has even been hinted at at this moment. I thought that was a most interesting uh, news article that I read the other day. Now, Graceland. Uh, let's talk about Graceland. We can't, we can't talk about cruising without talking about Elvis, you know. Um, they opened yesterday for the first time since they shut down back in March. Um, however, uh, they... They were doing 600,000 tourists a year, which would be about 12,000 a week. They are restricting visits into Graceland down to only 25% capacity. So we're talking now about uh, maybe 3,000 a week at the most. And you divide that into seven days because Graceland doesn't close, baby. Um, we're talking about, uh, you know, 300 people, 400 people a day on these tours. So you can imagine <clears throat> how restrictive things have become. Apparently mandatory. If you want to take the tour, you have to wear a face mask. You have to subject yourself to temperature checks. Um, and, uh, there are no exceptions to this rule. So, uh, you want to honor the king. You've got to follow the rules at Graceland. So that, that was an interesting bit of news. And out of Australia, my final bit of news, Australian authorities today announced that the extension and shutdown of cruise lines coming into Australia has been extended by another three months. So Australia is telling cruise line operators the earliest date you can think about coming into Sydney, Australia, Perth, uh, Melbourne, anywhere else, September the 17th. And there'll be no cruise ships arriving in Australia 
prior to at least September the 17th. That date is subject to change at a moment's notice by the Australian authorities. But uh, folks, uh, this is uh, telling that if a country like uh, Australia is saying, yeah, we're extending the no sale, uh, but we're not extending it by 30 days. We're not playing these little uh, little candy cane games here by we're just pulling the string for 30 days at a time. Uh-uh. 90-day extension, September 17th. Don't bother bringing a cruise ship down here. That cl- that cancels a ton of cruises, a ton of potential visits that were supposed to happen between now and then. And it's telling me that uh, even with Australia's relatively light numbers as a country, they have very few numbers of, of the virus, very few deaths. Uh, I expect New Zealand will follow suit immediately, uh, and that region is cut off for quite some time yet. Now, what will happen in Asia shortly? What will happen in uh, the Middle East? And uh, then, of course, uh, the the Mediterranean, Europe itself, America, uh, Canada. um, We'll see. I do know that uh, the... uh, the uh, Port Authority people uh, in St. John's, Newfoundland, they don't expect a single cruise ship for the rest of the year. Halifax, Nova Scotia, they've written off the entire 2020 season. That shuts down all New England, Canada cruises for September, October, all gone. Uh, all the summer visits are gone. And so uh, we'll see what the CDC has to say in the United States going forward. Anyway, there are seven different items for you to ponder. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome back to TWB Regular Videos. It's been a while and um, I'm getting used to it again. Um, thank you for for sponsoring or, or, or let's say uh, uh, subscribing to my channel, giving my videos thumbs ups. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing to Traveling with Bruce on the Facebook group page, also Instagram and supporting me through Redbubble. I do appreciate it very much. And we'll talk to you later, everybody. Stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy, and take care of that social distancing. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.